you guys welcome back to stampaholics anonymous today i have for you swatches of the parrot polish what dreams are made of collection it's a six piece collection consisting of um well i i want to call them like glitter bombs that are like chock full of um those color shifting flickies that we see in a lot of other polishes you see i've already put them like on these little swatch rings on the bottles um, but today I'm going to be doing live swatches on my actual nails because I'm curious to see how these work on the nail um, I think all of these like swatch uh, rings were two coats but you know I'm curious to see collection is called what dreams are made of so all of the um, polishes have I don't know fairy tale uh, related names I'm gonna prop them up like so like in a very dangerous game of Jenga with polishes. Polished Jenga. Ha! Huh. Here we go. So there's Endless Night, Unicorn Savior, Spectral Ghost, Magical Protector, Enchanted Forest, and Elf's Touch. I have never dreamt of an Elf's Touch. Um, up until this moment, maybe I will tonight, but, um, yeah, you can see that all of these polishes are, you know, the, the shifts are from different colors, uh, to other different colors. Wow, that sentence made a lot of sense. For instance, this one is mostly green, but it shifts to a blue, almost purple. I can see it in very extreme angles here, uh, on the rims of the bottles, and then also some gold. That was Elf's Touch, and then we have Enchanted Forest, and this one mainly is, I do think, green and gold with a bunch of purple in there also. And this might be the one that is just a topper because I couldn't get it opaque. It differs a little bit from the other um, formulas. Um, then we have Magical Protector with the main color being a purple and it shifts to a gold and a green and maybe some blue at very extreme angles. Not sure yet, but you can see it here, right? Good. Then we have Endless Night and this one is predominantly um, like blue or even black. I do think there's some black in there, however they did that. And um, they all have a lot of hollow and I think the hollow is the most apparent in this one, The Endless Night. Then we have Unicorn Savior. This one shifts from purple to a gold with hints of blue and green also. And then last we have Spectral Ghost and this one I do think is mostly gold shifting to green and blue. We shall see how it looks on the nails. I am very curious to find out um, you know, how these work because I was really surprised and happy with the formulas of the neon polishes that I tried from Parrot Polishes the other day. So let's see how these work. So let's get into the swatches. First up is Endless Night. Um, there's blue in there, there's black in there, there's hollow in there, and I'm pretty much going to be sounding like a broken record by the end of this uh, swatch video because the consistency in the formula of this was awesome across the board. Um, all of them performed pretty much the same, meaning that they got to like full opacity in two coats with one exception. I'm going to point that out. Um, and even though these are like jam packed with those flickies and glitters, they went on like a butter. This is a buttery polish or a buttery collection. If you can even say that about a glitter polish bit. They were. I really enjoyed it. I loved working with it. Um, yeah, and I'm going to show you swatch pictures uh, with a glossy taco on top to smooth out those glitters, you know, like you would be doing when you were to wear this out. Next up is 
elves touch and this one has more of a green to um, golden um, shift in there um, by the way it is really really hard to capture that shift on camera for some reason it was really really apparent in person in all of these polishes but it was just too hard to capture this on camera again awesome formula no issues with uh, glitter distribution the suspension base they use for this or like the base of this polish is like amazing i mean it's just it, it doesn't have any issues with um you know containing all these glitter pieces and then creating a smooth surface on your nails even though there are so many glitter particles anyway i loved um you know the shift from the different colors it was really apparent in person hard to capture on camera you are going to be seeing some weird angled um like videos of this even in like weird places that i don't normally you know film my little swatch videos but um you know i wanted to show you the shift of these colors so i you know took some creative liberty Next up is this purple to green to blue shifting goodness that is called Unicorn Savior. You can see all of the colors in the bottle mostly. Again, perfect formula even though of the amount of glitter and flakies in there. Um, the hollow stands out really, really nicely on all of these polishes. It's like the perfect mixture between shifting flakies and hollow. So you're still e able to see the hollow, but you get the full effect of the shiftiness. And like on a very, I don't know, grainy level, I've, we've seen some polishes in the past that incorporate shiftiness with hollow, but these are like very coarse glitter particles and the glitter, the hollow glitters are also pretty big. So it's a different kind of feel of these um, on the nail. It's a bit like, you know, having um, flakies, you know, like those uh, flaky chrome powder things we have been seeing and that I'm gonna be showing you on this channel. Uh, later again perfect formula on this one i love the formula of the whole collection um swatch picture is going to be two coats with top coat Sorry for the weird angle video. I told you I was going to do it. Next up is this one, uh, which is called Enchanted Forest. This is the only one of the collection that had a little bit of a different... I don't know, not, I wouldn't say formula, but the density of the glitter particles is not as high as in the other polishes. So I did end up using three coats um, to get this like fully opaque. But on the other hand, that means that you can put this over like a base color, like black or, you know, a green or something because it has like the shift from green to gold in it and very very nice on the nail same formula as the other ones but just not as densely packed with glitters
Okay, we are moving on to this gorgeous polish, which is called Spectral Ghost. I wouldn't want to be dreaming of ghosts, but well, you know, who am I? Um, I, I told you I was going to sound like a broken record. So this one also has an amazing formula, goes on like a butter onto your nails. Um, even though, or in spite of all those little um, glitter particles and flakies in there, I love the shift on this one. Um, really hard to capture on camera. I think you can kind of see it here, you know, that gold and, and, and red and green and all those nice little chameleon shifting colors that are like really, really hard to capture on camera. Two coats of this one with top coat in the swatch picture and the swatch video. Last up is uh, this polish, but definitely not least. This one is called Magical Protector. It has purple in there, green, gold, you know, all kinds of different shifty, uh, shifting um, abilities, I would call it. Um, yeah, and it has the same formula as all of these polishes. It went on nice and opaque in two easy coats. Um, the formula, you know, the base of this is just, you know, great to work with. Um, one thing I might want to mention is you do want to be careful because if, you know, miss your nail or like are off the nail a bit and hit your cuticle you, you are going to have a lot of, you know, uh, flaky sticking to your skin and those are hard to clean off because they just want to cling to you. They want to stay with you forever and ever. guys that were my quick swatches of the pear polish what dreams are made of collection i must say i'm a little bit frustrated not because of the polishes the polishes were awesome but it is so freaking hard to um capture the shift of these polishes on camera it's like i can see it very clearly in person but when i try to show you on camera either like through this um camcorder that i'm using using for my video and like through my iphone camera when i try to take pictures of this it's so freaking hard that's why you're gonna see some weird angles of my hand and weird you know weirdly positioned in my nail room because i i, I wanted to show you um like the shift of these because it's so pretty and so apparent in person but it's so hard to capture on camera i'm sorry um and then again i was not able to pick a favorite of this of this collection you know i put on the first polish and i'm like ooh, that's gonna be my favorite and then i put on the second polish and i'm like no this is gonna be my favorite and so on and so on <laughs> so basically i just love the whole collection um and how like all of these polishes like cover a different spectrum of shiftiness if that's you know if you know what I mean right so I can only recommend this uh, collection to you formula wise a plus um, even though they are like so packed with um, glitters it um, still applied very nicely you know sometimes um, you get a little bit of glitters sticking up um, 
over your nail and then you just push it back a bit and that's why all my fingers now have glitter on them but um, other than that I have no complaints at all I did put on a glossy top coat um, you know because they do dry a bit textured but I don't really mind and, and again I can't show you the shift this one is like shifting from reddish purple to a gold maybe a hint of green and I just can't show you it's so frustrating but in person these are like amazing it's like when I take my hand from from here where I'm filming over to my uh, photo box it's like oh my god I can see all the colors I can see all the colors I can't wait to take a picture of it Ugh. It was impossible. So I apologize for my bad uh, picture and video taking abilities that definitely do not do any justice to these polishes. I can recommend them like 100%. I really like them. I really enjoyed them. Um, yeah, let me know that in the comments below if you were able to spot a bit of the, you know, shiftiness and which of these colors was your favorite, what other parrot polishes you've tried out in the past and are really loving. Um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments below. I love reading your comments. Um, that's it for today, you guys. Thanks again for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye!